Hello guys, welcome to 3ds Max News October. This month, a lot of stuff, let's just start because it's a heavy month. We will start with a smart anim. It's a brand new rigging and animation plugin for 3ds Max created by Felix Jolianes. If you work in 3D animation, this toolkit is just seriously impressive. It takes the tools that you already know in 3ds Max, like controllers, solvers and helpers, and upgrades them into something way more powerful. So a smart anime basically expands what's possible inside 3ds Max. Whether you are building characters for film, games or any kind of animation project, and this plugin gives you the flexibility to create complex rigs without all the manual setup that normally you need to do. At the heart of it is an automatic rig system with just a few parameters and simple template you can generate advanced rigs. Bipeds, quadrupeds, centaurs, even insects. You can mix and match components, swap solvers, or customize bonds and helpers any way you like. It supports IK to FK, blending, reverse food setups, twist bonds, and even face rigs based on bonds or morph targets. Then there's the new UI panel, a slick interface packed with sliders, speakers, and buttons that make animating complex rigs super intuitive. You can even manage character poses using the pose kit, which lets you save, apply, and reuse poses instantly. A smart anim also comes with an animation manager that handles poses, tracks, and full rigs animations. You can copy, mirror, or transfer animation data across different rigs, all without one unified system. And the new IK and FK solver and Curve IK solver take motion control to another level. You can blend IK and FK seamlessly or create bendy cartoony limbs using fewer objects and connections, perfect for both realistic and stylized animation. On top of that, there are over 20 new controllers and 14 helper types, including features like aim constraint, pattern constraint, rig control, stretch constraint, and tons more. Basically, it gives you all the precision and flexibility you want when building or animating your rigs. Smart Anim is just not one tool, it's a complete animation rigging ecosystem built inside 3ds Max. And if you're serious about animation, this one plugin can totally level up your workflow. It's available for Max 2020 to 2026, and this tool costs $149 for a user license and one year of maintenance. Check it out on smartanim.com. Sakib Malik already has been working with a smart anim and building his own retarget system, assisted by AI, and he will release this after he debug it a little more, but you can see it here how he's using an anima a motion capture rig and retargets to smart anim. FumeFX 7.1 has been released now with a new render warp algorithm optimized for bend, twist, taper, skew and stretch is five times faster than before and it keeps better the details. There has been viewport improvements, color code grids, matching labels, cache color preview, height grid toggles and you can see it's way faster than the old FilmFX 5.0. Open BDB import enhancements with iApp support if you need to import things from Houdini, auto channel detection, uh, no more manual channel mapping, cache output flexibility with custom separators, frame, di frame digit control, and way more options to export Alembics and extra options. Chaos Vantage 3 has now been released, now with USD and Material X support for easier data exchange with 3ds Max and other apps, with or without V-Ray. Now supports Gaussian splats, volumetric rendering, Night Sky Stars that takes basically the same system that we saw in Corona on V-Ray. Also, it acquires the scatter clustering system that we saw on these engines. AI material generator and now more than 5,000 Cosmo assets. The Cosmo library is a chaos library and is shared between V-Ray, V-Ray, Corona and now Chaos Vantage. We have Anima 6.2. So on Anima 6, we get uh, vehicle support 
but now vehicles come with the drivers and passengers by default with easy controls to adjust both the number and variety of the people inside and anima now automatically adds realistic braking and blinking lights it also comes with enhanced vehicle motion natural traffic flow and motion baking to ensure that your scenes stay consistent as you add new elements tag based crowds and 4d path brings context aware characters and more natural motion to scenes over 120 new models have been added including versatile 4d characters and popular urban vehicles so basically new more models faster scene loading and generation plus reduced memory consumption for 3ds max and v-ray and corona workflows and faster material generation inside 3ds max Meow's Layer Colorizer is a new plugin that basically allows you to assign custom backgrounds and text colors to any layer in the layer or a scene explorer in 3ds max to better differentiate when you have a lot of layers you can also apply the same color to all child objects of a colorized layer for a better visual organization and you can save your preferred colors in a color palette and reuse them anytime on different 3ds max files this tool costs 7 euros Ornatrix plugin is now free for students and schools as schools can request a license by submitting the form on the website and students can then obtain the, these licenses from their institutions and all students can upgrade to a commercial license after finishing the studies with a 50% discount that's pretty cool from Ornatrix my art box did a showcase of a tool that he's working on it's not yet available it's called timeline pro designed for motion artists animators and technical directors has been built with python and p 6 featuring a clean modern interface and a smooth interactivity where you can see all the elements and move on the timeline different animations pretty cool looks like a lot as after effects so if you are used to after effects this can be the perfect tool we can see a preview here to of the main benefits with a full demo coming soon so we will check it out when this comes available spline dynamics presented a 3d measure master and it measures anything in your scene with real 3d accuracy creates a clean cat style dimension for distance angles radius diameters and bounding boxes all as renderable elements and brings basically what you can do on the cat level precision inside 3ds max workflows so you if you need these presentations where you need some visualization of the units data that's amazing all the measurements are represented by native 3D splines and text plus labels, so it's fully customizable and render ready. Perfect for ar architectural visualizations, technical uh, demonstrations that you need to do. It comes with five specialized tools, distance, angle, radius, diameter, bounding box. Uh, it supports from max 2016 to max 2026 and the tool costs $16 for two license keys. And my friend Sebastian Schaeffer released a Storm Hydro, a very but very fast GPU flip solver. A Storm Hydro is an independent application but has been very well thought to have good connectivity with 3ds Max. You can bring things from 3ds Max with OBJs or Alembics in, uh, supporting animations and deforming geometry and you can export back to 3ds Max Alembic sequences, USD particle sequences bin files, PRTs or BDB files so you can open this inside 3ds Max with a lot of different tools the flip fluid water solver is written from the grown up with added uh, different geometry forces to shape your liquids it can output surface directly uh, for getting renders really fast it simulates white water foam and the spray simulations are coming soon it uses an adaptive domain to keep memory low and speeds really fast and being a GPU solver requires a modern NVIDIA GPU but you will get much faster simulation speeds than traditional CPU flip solvers like you see in Houdini for example allowing even to interact with the solver as you are simulating Storm Hydro comes with the peer scene that you can see here on these videos so you can explore how this scene has been simulated and how easy it is and the better of all is that it's an open beta and right now it's totally free so check it out 
There's also a Discord channel where users are exchanging ideas and sharing scenes and how to move data between different applications. We have Houdini users, Blender users, 3ds Max people. So check it out. Uh, pretty cool all what the people is doing there. On my Patreon, you have three tutorials covering Storm Hydro. We have the basics, the more advanced, how to import geometry and animation from 3ds Max and how to load back the particle data in 3ds Max using Typeflow, V-Ray, Krakatoa or Arnold. Actually, it's not three tutorials, it's four tutorials that I have there. And in total, we have two extra tutorials covering three dynamics inside Typeflow and a Phoenix tutorial for fire. So check it out, we have a lot of fun there with exclusive tutorials I have Normally four a month, this month we had six tutorials and more stuff coming. On the section 3ds Max rules, or we can call it a different thing every time, we have Sylvan Kim that he worked a lot on Clair Obscure Expedition 33 animations. We saw some of his work on 3ds Max is only for RGB part. And he also recreated this very cool animation using the character by the popular game Silk Song. The model is done by Guillaume Tiberguians and he used 3ds Max on a series of attacks and acrobatic moves based on the game mechanics, looking amazing. We saw a lot of animations in this channel from Malbar's animations, always doing different uh, animals, and he provided realistic cats with 72 different skin sets and 200 high quality animations, including actions like running, jumping, attacking and way more. All this is on sale on the Unity store for $100 and all animations and models has been done in 3ds Max. If you play another game by Unity and you see a cat there, it's quite possible that the cat is coming from Malbar's animations. Luma is a very cool short movie. It's impressive on its own, but it's even more impressive when you know that Luna is a graduation short film by the students on the final year at New Edge in 2025. It's a solar punk inspired project that they produce over nine months as a team of nine artists from pre through the final color grading. The pipeline that they use was primarily 3ds Max and V-Ray, but they also use Nuke, ZBrush, Houdini, Substance Painter, DaVinci Resolve, Photoshop, Speed Tree, and more. The project itself is amazing, you have a making of that is also great, but you need to check the making of Luma page hosted on i2soft, i2soft are the guys that they do uh, forest pack, where they talk about the use of forest pack in this project. With a lot of inside information, you, we can see a lot of 3ds Max screen viewports there, and a lot of tips and tricks used in the project to keep the scenes easy to manage, so some tricks to make the things lighter, and yeah, you can see a lot of information there, so check it out. Bastien Kenold shared this amazing project animating a racing car. Initially, it looks like just a really cool realistic car, but then when the music kicks in, we get these very cool simulations done in Typeflow, transitioning to a very visual interesting tool shading rendering style, with lots of 2D elements looking and a very cool transitions. We know that everything has been done in 3ds Max, with Typeflow for simulations, Corona for rendering, and Substance Painter for texturing. Check it out, it's a quite a long, it's a 4 minutes video, and looking amazing. I love the transitions between the kind of like realistic style to the 2D effect style, uh, looking re really great. I love the, loving the art style of this project. Adam Lauriol is a generalist artist at Distillery VFX, and during October he created a sequence called The Cave, using a Speed Tree and Max Tree models for some specific variations. He spent around a week using 3ds Max, V-Ray, Forest Pack and Nuke. For some of the rocks, he used ZBrush plus Megascans, reshading it procedurally using V-Ray. The Soldier animation comes from Mixamo, and he created this interesting short uh, animation. The movie Tron Ares hits the cinema in October with some spectacular visuals and fantastic music by the Nine Inch Nails 
studio. We know that two houses that use 3ds Max has been working on this movie. One is ILM, doing the impressive distractions across Vancouver. And the other one is Distillery VFX, that we work on the 1982 version of the grid. Spoiler alert, you can see it on the trailer. They go back to the old grid. And yeah, we work on this sequence. There is in YouTube a very cool video about the CGI that they use on the original Tron that is worth watching it. And you have the link on the video description here to check both the trailer and this cool video talking about the all effects. It's like amazing how far we went in 40 years. Um, the jump in CGI is amazing. Another popular movie, being the number one movie in Netflix right now in October, is House of Dynamite. And the Stillery VFX has been the sole vendor for this film, with lots of environments done in 3ds Max, the B2 bomber sequence, and other effects using 3ds Max, Typhlow, and Phoenix, and rendering everything with V-Ray. By the way, at Distillery we are expanding and we are looking for compositors and generalists. On the generalist department, we are looking for 3ds Max ninjas. We have awesome office in Vancouver, hybrid work, we have the office as well is dog friendly. We have some great projects. If you are amazing in 3ds Max, join. You can meet my dog Blau. Well say Pofo shared his personal artwork that is called the Rising Keep. Developed to study large-scale environment creations using 3ds Max, V-Ray, Forest Pack, Nuke, and Phoenix. The focus was on exploring composition, atmosphere, and scale through a journey from medieval farms to a castle on the top of the mountain. Matthias Develter shared his work on Golfenstein Youngblood, a very high-res and detailed mechanical asset with very cool materials and a lot of small details here and there. Michael Skiliarik, a usual guy here on this section, used his forest tools that is a plugin for Unreal Engine that he developed, and put together this very cool environment short called Whispering Gorge, a project that has been done between 3ds Max and Unreal Engine. Using Unreal Engine path tracing for the rendering, he also used Substance 3D Painter and Typhlow. And on the tutorial section, we have an amazing tutorial by Nikolai Stivoloka in how to create stylized cartoon eyes in 3ds Max. He's recreating these eyes from cars. He's covering a spline system for eye movement, eyelid rig with automatic follow, blink controls and custom attributes, and much more. Check it out. A very professional rig system in 3ds Max, and it's a tutorial for free that it's quite difficult to find, seriously. And then we have Alex Andrial that released his tutorial to create a rocket engine fire in 3ds Max and Phoenix FD. We saw the cool result that he did in the previous 3ds Max news, but now you have this 45 minutes tutorial covering for free how to do it yourself, so check it out. And that's all for this month guys, I hope that you like it, a lot of interesting stuff, pretty exciting to have a new plugin, Smart Anim, expanding animation in 3ds Max, that a lot of people have been requesting that. It's sad that it's not coming from 3ds Max itself, but cool to have options in 3ds Max with these amazing plugins. Thank you a lot to be here until the end. You know what you need to do if you like it. Give a like, share it with your friends, subscribe. And thanks a lot to all my Patreons. We are having a lot of fun. We are learning together. So thank you so much, guys. And yeah, see you soon. Bye.